Hey friends, welcome to my channel again. The topic is the is discuss about the structures. What is the structures and uh, structure? You know, is the most important thing. Without this, not supposed to go forward any other languages or with the Dart or with the Flutter or you know, or with any other framework. So uh, the today topic is the structure is the most important video. So uh, please keep watch it till end. And it will be very helpful to you to understand about the structure in the Flutter. We are here to discuss about the two uh, most common models. Uh, model view controller and second is the model view and then view model. Why we are calling the uh, model view controller and model view and view model. So basically we use uh, two packages here uh, uh, for that purpose view uh, model view controller. We are using just GADX. We are just using the GADX package and uh, for that purpose we are using the provider here. So uh, basically uh, the model, view model and view. This this structure and this structure is a little bit different with the functionality uh, to, to interact with the model. Let me clear in detail. So, uh, model basically here in the GATX or in the view model controller. Model is basically interact with the controller and model also interact with the view. And in the controller also interact with the view. Okay. Uh, you can say a loophole because the controller is also communicating with the view and uh, this controller is also communicating with the model. So these controller is simultaneously communicate with the view and the model uh, takes the model and communicate with the view. So if we are, we are talking about the view and the model is getting uh, written the value written the model to the view and controller also done the view. So these model and then controllers these two parts uh, con these two parts returning the values to the same uh, viewpoint mvp model we you can say this is the loophole if you are going to the large applications so you you have to follow this pattern because you have to large data to handle throughout the app so uh, this model is basically interact with the view model and then the uh, model view and then view model model view basically interact once at once uh, with the view and model is also interact with the once in the view, view model so we are taking the input in the views and in the gadx or in the mvc program we are getting the inputs into into the controller and controller returns the value you know, to the view and then model and then uh, we are returning the model into the controller and we are just to calling the model into the controller okay so uh, in the in the mvp mvvm model we are just taking the input into the view using the model into the view or calling the model into the view before using this model into the view we are just put the values put the values from this model Put the values from this model and we are calling basically uh, suppose that we have the get, get API and uh, we are just creating the model uh, according to uh, this API. So uh, we are just calling the API into the view model and then call the model and put the all these values into the model and this model is calling by the view. This model is written the basically of values to the view which want to show to the user let me explain i can show you the this part of the uh, image and this part we, we will discuss in the in the later videos okay so now we are just going to the mvvp pattern let's see we have three classes here what are the three classes we have the product controller we have the product model and we have the product view okay so I am defining the here model view and view model view model is basically a product controller. Okay. So first of all, we are just going to the view model. View model is basically this. This is the view models. Okay. Into the view model, we have the product count dot dot product count dot dot file. Okay. So in the file, 
we are just creating the uh, product list here and this is the this is my api i am just calling and this is my api i am just calling it's a base url base url i am getting from the env file this is the way to get the base url from the env so i am just getting and uh, if the status quo is 200 and i am returning the data uh, the response okay so uh, we are just getting the response and save the response into the product data and this product data is basically we are on this product data we are map the uh, and uh, we are map another list which into uh, into another list we are just calling the model and this model we are just put the values which we have got from the api okay which we have got from the api we are just calling the model into the map function map function is basically what it does it it replicates the list or uh, it creates another list uh, based on your response okay so we are just creating the list uh, and uh, product data product data dot map then product data and then into the product data this is the function this is the callback functions we are calling as a parameter into the map because the map takes the functions callback functions okay so then we are just returning the product model this is the model we are we have the model this is the product product is the product model okay product model what it what it is uh, what what it can be it uh, it should be in the id uh, in the title price description category and images uh, this all the values of the structure we need okay so i am just returning here id title price descriptions category and image okay so these uh, we are just we are just putting these data into the product model clear about it what i am saying these data and this product data is basically we are getting from the api and uh, this product data id we are just putting me into the this model id and this model id uh, we i'm just calling the this uh, model and putting the id title the price descriptions category and image uh, which we are getting from the api okay so this uh, this is the product model and now this part is complete oh, uh, sorry this part is complete your part is complete and we are just moving to the part of the model view now the the view uh, the view model call the api and put the result into the model view model basically this is the view model uh, view model and this view model calls this api and this api saves the re results into the product data we map the we map another list and uh, into the map function calling the model and this model we are just putting the values according to the model we have designed the next part what the next part is the next part is basically the product view okay now the things has clear we have just put the data into the model okay we have put all the data now the turn is what the fun what what the remaining part model view part okay so the remaining part is view model part okay so so uh we are just going to the to fetch the data uh from the model okay so now we have a widget and this widget we are just creating the, the state and this state is basically calling the api function which is product list and into, into the product list we are just filling out the uh, model by getting the response from the api okay so 
uh into uh, then is then we have the we have the return and uh, we we are just have the consumer consumer is basically what the consumer does consumer is basically a widget which returns the state of uh, which return the required state which required state you are just mentioned here this consumer i need to get the pro product provider this product provider class which fu uh, which functions i am calling from here so this should be same with this okay so i am just uh, consume the pro product provider consume and then this consumer needs a builder and this builder needs a function call the function and then build uh, and then in this and this builder functions takes three steps three uh, arguments first is a context you are building from and this is the context you are building and uh, this is the value or this is the response uh, or a state you can say this is the state and which which you're running from products a uh, product provider and then this is the widget so we uh, we don't need this though, so we are just mentioning here we are just mentioning here so we don't need this we just need the context and then the state here okay so if you print the value to, so you have to get all the data from the uh, from the api okay so that remove that this is not necessary okay i am just creating the straight if the if the, if it's empty so this is this is a kind of loader if this product is empty so loader will, loader will be appear and if this is not app, uh, and uh, the product list is not empty so the list view builder will appear here will be in action okay so uh this is basically what this is the semicolon we are mentioning is the straight this is the semicolon is basically a straight and straight dot products dot length product what is a product product is the straight uh product is defined in the state what is the state state is the product provider i am just uh, creating the a variable list type variable into the product provider okay so what is the next thing uh, string url is basically getting the we are just getting the image url so product pro products has the access of the model class so just 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 hold down you can see this product i am just saving this product model into this products okay this list has a products and this list has a product and this model i am just saving this model into this products so if i if i ha if i want to get the data so i need to access this products list uh, it will automatically access this all the things with all the stuff okay so into this part we are uh, i am just getting the product index and an image okay so this is the list and you you have uh, you are just uh, you are just know uh, if the data into the list we just need to the uh, to get the index index by index we are getting the data from the list okay so into the list we have then object so at this at this uh, i can i can design for you this list i can design for you so let's suppose we have a list products okay so it has a some type of data like this okay so uh, if i just copy it and paste it and then copy okay so this product is basically you have the list of type of product 
this list is similar with this list you are just putting into the model okay so basically you are just creating the model you are just putting the values in the model it's it's like that it's like that so if you get the list you use this square brackets to access the index of the list okay if we have the curly presses so we need to uh, access dot dot we we have to if you want to access this image you you need to use the dot dot operator okay so if you want to need to access this index so, so you need to uh, define this style this thing okay clear it i hope this uh, this quite clear it's um, i know this is so so boring thing but uh, uh, i i this is a my job to clear all the things for you guys so i hope this is clear for you okay so so we are just getting this product list it is it is very similar to this kind of list okay so uh, i'm just getting this this image from this type of list okay quite clear then then we are just putting filling out the all the data like that uh, we, we can i can i can see you okay title descriptions title descriptions url and all the all the stuffs we uh, i am just getting from from this model okay from this model i am just getting all the stuff like that products which basically we have the model and this model on every index we are just getting the title on every index of the model we are just getting the title okay so uh, as similar uh, we uh, we have the model and to the products and every single uh, every single model index we are just getting descriptions okay so i hope these all the stuff this all the things you are getting much more and uh, in another next video we are just move to the getx functions and uh, move to the uh, mvc pattern and uh, we will deeply dive into the mvc model then uh, so that we can understand better patterns so it is very useful in the uh, to get the job uh, at uh, to from any and into the into into an industry so this is very useful for us and uh, this is very important to learn. this is very important concept for us okay so thank you so much for subscribing if this video is very helpful for you so please like me thumbs up and share it and don't forget for to subscribe it we will uh i will uh, get i will get more to you so don't don't forget to subscribe okay Thank you so much.